Staying with the passing of the late former president, as reported earlier, a state funeral will be held. So how does it work and who do they apply to exactly? Yi Young explains further. Historically, the South Korean government has been holding funerals for most former presidents, largely in two types. In the case of Kim Dae-jung and Park Jung-hee, state funerals were held, which could last up to nine days under the law that was in place then. No Mu Hyun and Che Gyu Ha had national funerals, which could last up to seven days. Only two presidents had family funerals, Lee Seung Man and Yoon Bo Sun. But in 2011, the law was revised to combine the previous state and national funerals to just one type of state funeral. And according to the law, a state funeral is held for a former or incumbent president, a president-elect, or those who made a significant contribution to the country and are revered by the people. The first such kind was held for former president Kim Yong-sam in 2015. Under the law, a state funeral lasts for five days. The event is organized by the Ministry of Interior and Safety, which sets up a funeral committee. Headed by the Prime Minister, the committee is in charge of coordinating with local governments to set up memorial altars across the nation and organizing send-off and burial ceremonies. Meanwhile, throughout the funeral period, all public institutions prop the national flag at half-mast. And based on these procedures, South Korea will be holding its second state funeral for former President Noh Tae-woo. Noh's rights to receive the usual courtesy given to former presidents has been scrapped due to his imprisonment, but the government said it took into consideration his significant contribution to the country. Lee Kyung-un, Arirang News.